So last night I watched the documentary uh, called Becoming Nobody by Baba Ram Das, and that mo- or that documentary was fantastic. I was blown away by it. I just kind of listened to it while I was falling asleep, and then I finished the rest of it this morning. And I would say the least amount of anxiety that I've had in probably a week, I would say, while watching it. And then I woke up this morning. You know, I did my errands and stuff, and I just had no judgment of myself, of other people. It just felt really good. That's the only way I can describe it. It was like it was like when I'm in my meditative state, and I was sitting there just listening to, you know, like lo-fi music and doing some meditation, and it was just a a really good time. And I was just very comfortable then, and of course. The weather has kind of changed since then. I woke up, it was like perfectly sunny. The weather is like 65, and I just sat in the sun, you know, after I got back from running errands. And it just felt like a really solid day throughout the day. And that's kind of, you know, how I've been feeling all day. It was pretty good, and I was like, well, I want to make this video so I can kind of share my experience. And becoming nobody, it really highlighted talking about death and I think that's something that the western culture doesn't do enough like our western society a lot of eastern societies and eastern philosophies and cultures talk about death and they're really open and he said a couple things in that documentary and I'll highlight the first part but he said that death is just a transition and even when people die young you know we're just transforming out of this body right and that's what I thought was really interesting about what he had said there, you know, Baba Ram Das was him saying, it's just a transition, right? We're going to go into a different state in the afterlife, you know, and whether you believe in God. And he was just kind of saying, no matter what you believe in, you're going to leave this body. And that is one part of your life that you should definitely begin to accept, right? A lot of people always look at death as like such a negative connotation, And I get it, right? Like death is, it's a scary thing to think about. But once you kind of open yourself up to it and accept it, it really allows you to open yourself up to the world and experience life and live in the moment because you don't want to miss out on your life simply because you're afraid of dying. I know we've gotten pretty deep out of the gate, but I wanted to open up with that because that was just a really profound, had a really profound impact on me. And I... I really highly recommend that everybody watches that documentary. It's only an hour long. And he talked about Maharaji because I was his spiritual guru back in the day when he had first started. And for anybody who doesn't know, Ram Das was a Harvard professor who then began to experiment with uh, psychedelics. And when he began to experiment with psychedelics, that's how he kind of realized that he didn't like the life that he was living, even though he was, you know, had enough money to take whatever vacations he wanted throughout the year, had one of the best, highest paying corporate jobs, and then he kind of threw that all away. I think it was at the age of 26, might have been later, maybe maybe it was 29. But it kind of opened my mind more. I've been following Ram Das since I was 19. I'm 21 now. I read Be Here Now. That book had a very profound impact on me. And that's what led me to take my travels to Buddhist temples and monasteries around the state around the states was because of that book. Like that book really had such a formative impact on who I am. And it was just nice to know, like, if you were scared of something, it's because you're attached to it. And just talking about attached outcomes was also very interesting. He was talking about attaching yourself to this life attaching yourself to other people and how that can always leave you with a sense of lack right is looking is being scared of something like death and then attaching yourself to something like life it's just so profound like those are some of the most profound things that I've heard in a while and you know especially when you live like it was almost like I was no mind living today this morning Um, I've kind of gotten in my head a little bit as of recent but if you can cut out external stimuli and external factors, you can really dig deep into yourself and find your purpose, find why you're living, what your goals are, 
you know, and, and what, what your expected outcomes are, but not to attach yourself to them. Even Phil Jackson, right, the NBA coach and the basketball player, he won 11 rings, uh, six with the Bulls, five with the Lakers, with players like Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Shaquille O'Neal, um, Kobe Bryant. And he always talks about how if you're able to set yourself up for success and at that point, when you set yourself up, you can then just hope for the best. Like you just can hope that you prepared as good as you could to achieve that outcome, but to never attach yourself to it. And they would always have practices and they would do, I'm pretty sure it's called one mind breathing or one breath where they would all get together and work as a team. They would work on breathing and exercise as a team in the middle of the floor just so that they could become more connected as a unit. And just even Phil Jackson bringing in uh, Eastern spirit spirituality is just something that's so crazy to think about, right? And such a, you know, NBA players live such a lavish lifestyle. And Phil Jackson said that, you know, traveling to city after city leaves you with such an empty feeling um, because you, you're only in a place for one to two days and then it's on to the next one and you can't really soak it all in. So I like that realness from him, and I want to touch on that. But Becoming Nobody, I watched that last night. Fantastic documentary. I truly think everybody should watch it. It is Ram Dass in a very, very vulnerable state. And he, he has a fantastic book. Be Here Now is the other one. But that, that it just had such a profound impact on me. And there was a lot in the first half of the book, too, where he's kind of talking about how he got to the place that he got to and what made him question a lot of the things and before he found himself. And then also bringing other people under his wing to, of course, then be their guru and their light in the spiritualism walk, right? So it was just really good, and I want to touch on that for you guys. And I'll probably leave it here. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and we'll have more videos rolling out eventually.